Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my hair. Now honestly, I think the number one thing people ask me about is what lipstick am I wearing and how do I do my hair? Everywhere I go, it's like, is it natural? How did you do that? How did you style it? What curling iron do you use? What hairspray do you use? I get asked a lot about my hair and I'm, I'm really proud of my hair and I'm really, I really try to make my hair look the best and I kind of am obsessed with my hair and I'm obsessed with hair products and that's kind of like one of my main addictions. So yeah, today I'm going to kind of take you through every product that I put on my hair and why and what I use it for. I have quite a big regime, but it works for me and I like the way my hair looks. So yeah, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification button so you stay up to date. Give this video a big thumbs up and share it with all your friends because the more the merrier, right? All right, let's just get into this video. So first things first, this is my natural hair color. Everyone always asks me what color it is so they can copy it. I don't know. Um, my hairdresser said it's really similar to L'Oreal, like 7.4. Um, so you can tell your hairdresser that. But yeah, this is 100% natural. Um, it looks like I have highlights because the sun gives it highlights. I just recently got it cut with like lots of texture. It is shorter in the back, longer in the front. Um, I go somewhere in Toronto. If you want to know, I can leave it. Uh, just leave me a comment and I'll tell you how to get in touch with my hairdresser. And yeah, so my hair is generally, generally really healthy because I don't have any dye in it, but I pretty much heat style it every single day. So I do have breakage. I do get split ends and whatnot. It is very thin, but I have a lot of of it. So I don't have natural volume because my hair is very thin. If you look at the actual strand, I just have tons of it. So it looks thick, but it's not like each piece is actually very thin. So I'm looking for hydration and I'm looking for volume. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's just start with my like in shower routine. So I have two shampoos that I use and I alternate them or what have you. So the number one is probably very boring, but it is a L'Oreal professional expert series it's called Sensi Balance and it looks like this and it's with Sorbitwin and it's a dermal protector soothing shampoo okay so basically I have a very very sensitive scalp and it gets dried out very easily and I can sometimes get like psoriasis in certain parts um, it's not like a oily scalp it's a dry scalp so those are very different things so I need this because my hairdresser gave this to me because she said it was like pH balancing so it really is hydrating to the scalp and that's what this says it just says scalp is better protected it's a gentle cleansing formula has a moisturizing ingredient and leaves the scalp protected so this is what I use on a regular basis it's kind of boring you really have to like lather it up with water but if you have a sensitive or dry scalp get this I will leave everything linked down below and where you can buy it so yeah this is the shampoo that I use. If I don't use it, my hair, my scalp gets so itchy, so dry, and I hate it. So I have to use this. That being said, I do love the Lush Big Shampoo. Now this is a sea salt shampoo. Look at it. It's crazy. It's all natural. It's just sea salt and avocado or something. Seaweed and fresh citrus juices. So this does give me a lot of volume. I love it, but I can't use it all the time because it will dry out my scalp. So I can't use this every single day. But if you don't have that problem, just use this. It is the best. It not only gives your hair volume, it leaves your hair so shiny and so smooth. It's so soft. It's so touchable. I love this shampoo. Honestly, it gets out all the gunk, it gets out any like hairspray or residue like leftover. So this one's super awesome. So those are my shampoos. Conditioner, I'm kind of still looking for a conditioner. Um, nothing really does it for me except for this, but this is not technically a conditioner. But I'm obsessed with the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I've probably been through 10 of these. This is just like a very, very thick hair mask. A little bit goes a long way. Um, since I don't wash my hair every single day, I wash it like every three days. Um, I just use a tiny little bit of this like right through my ends and this just literally saves your hair. If you have any broken ends, if it's like 
flyaways. This smooths everything out and it just makes your hair soft and touchable and amazing. So I pretty much just use this and then like every other wash, I'll just go in with like a Dove conditioner or a L'Oreal conditioner, kind of nothing really fancy, but I am looking for a really good conditioner. Um, so if you have any recommendations, but this is mostly just what I use. Um, it doesn't weigh my hair down if I just use a little bit of it. So yeah, this will save your hair. Even my hairdresser is like, your hair is so soft. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's definitely this mask okay so that's what I use in the shower very simple and outside of the shower la, 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 see um, the Batiste dry shampoo I've gone through I should be sponsored by this company I use so much um yeah I'm trying to get it on sale because I use so much of it this is the best dry shampoo by far I've oops I hit my mic I've gotten everyone addicted to it. It's just no nonsense. It will give your hair volume. It will soak up all the oils so that you don't have to shower for like four days because who wants to do that? Not me. So that's dry shampoo. Anyway, so then when my hair is wet, I go in with the Unite 7 Seconds Condition Leave-In Detangler. My hair has changed texture a lot. I think I talked about this in one of my favorites videos. I have this like one patch right here that is so crimpy and knotty and tangled. And underneath I've been getting so many knots and tangles. So my hairdresser recommended this. And it's really, really helped. So I spray this all over my head when it's wet and I let it sit in. And then I go in with my favorite, there's so much hair on this, I shouldn't have taken that out too late. Uh, the Tangle Teaser. This looks like a horse brush, but it's the only thing that gets through my hair. And yeah, who's like, was one of those kids where like, if their parents would cut or brush or do anything to their hair, I would scream bloody murder. So I'm very sensitive with my hair. My scalp really hurts. So the Tangle Teaser is a must and this will get out all of the knots and everything and let me brush through it easier. I then like to go in with a mousse. Now I said my hair is very fine, so I do love to add a mousse to kind of give it more weight and to give something to like cling to, uh, if that makes sense. Now if you have very like, very thin hair, you might not want to do this, but I love the L'Oreal Hollywood Waves. Um, I just feel like, it just kind of like, when I curl it, it just lets the hair curl better, if you know what I mean. Um, it just like smooths it out. I just love mousse. It gives it like body, it really smooths the strands, prevents flyaways, lets it curl better. So yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. My hairdresser uses this, it's called Nourishing Mousse Contoured Curls. So. Yeah, just really hydrating, and I think it just like lets my hair curl better, gives it a nice little wave, even if I don't do anything to it. So I love that. I all oh, one thing I do love to use. If you use a lot of dry shampoo and you kind of just like like let it sit and whatever, it does dry out your hair. So I actually love the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. Looks like this. It's very simple, very basic. I just take one tiny little pump in my hands and on dry hair, or you could use it on wet hair, I just rub it through the ends just to really smooth it out. Um, if I'm not doing anything with it, like it's like second day hair and I don't want to recurl it, this just kind of gives life back to your hair. Um, it's really, really lightweight, non-greasy, so I love this hair oil. Okay, then when I'm going in to style my hair, I have like a curling routine. So basically, I go in with this, and this is the best. This is the Kenra Platinum hot spray. It's a firm hold heat protection spray. This will hold your curls in for days. This is the best heat protection spray I've ever used. I've tried other Kenra ones. I've tried other brands. This is my favorite. So I basically take every single strand, one spray on dry, comb it through, and then I curl. And it just really, it, it, it protects it from damage and it also locks it in. So this is a hairspray and a protection spray, kind of like two in one. So it really just locks in those curls and protects it from heat damage. Honestly, if you are having trouble curling your hair, I highly recommend this product. Then my hairspray that I cannot live without, and it's so funny because my hairdresser always tries to recommend different ones and I never like them as much as this. Um, this is the Sebastian Shaper. That's all. It is the big white bottle. This is it. This is the best. Hold and control. So this will lock my hair in place, but yet it still gives it that softness. I kind of like messy, movable hair, but I love texture. So I love spraying in the bottom. My hair can handle a lot of hairspray. 
this is even good for really fine hair because it's really lightweight. It just like locks in your hair without ever making your hair crispy. It gives it like movement, it gives it bounce, it gives it flexibility and touchability. So this is my ride or die hairspray. I can't live without this. Last but not least, another product that I should be sponsored by, I wish, because I've spent so much money buying it, is the Way Texturizing Hairspray. Ah, it smells so good. I get so many compliments on how my hair smells and it is because of this. It smells like gardenia, I'm pretty sure, but yeah. Basically, this gives texture and volume and movement. So I shake it up. I basically lift up my hair and I spray it in the roots like that. And it just like gives this like volume up there. If you spray it in the bottom in your curls, it just like gives this like textured, messy look it gives a pc separated look i just think it's so perfect whether you have short hair long hair anything that you have this will work this will give you texture and volume it's just that pc-ness and that like playful movement like all this i've just like soaked my hair in it so yeah i've been through like 50 of these so that was everything. These are all the hair products that I use on a daily basis. No, pretty much like just every time I wash and curl my hair. But yeah, that's a lot of products. Uh, if you have any conditioner recommendations, I'm still looking for another one. But yeah, really hope you guys like this video and you got some helpful tips for some hair products that you could use. And yeah, that's everything. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.